Hello, thank you for clicking on my video. During this video, I'm going to explain issues I had with my initial build of the double glazed acrylic window, which should be up here, or else it'll be in the description. I'm going to explain the issues I had, how I dealt with them, and how I used this window seal as an excellent way of um, making a double glazed window. I'm going to use this when I eventually build the French doors and the windows for my house. Okay, so some of the problems I had with my initial build, I noticed after a few weeks that the glazing compound in some areas was detaching from the aluminium angle that I used. This might have been because it was powder coated. Also, I also noticed around the same time that some of the paint peeled very easily off the glazing and the glazing compound underneath was very soft. So, and then a few days after that, I noticed that there was condensation in between the two panes of glass, which indicated that I had an air leak as the silica gel was used up and now moisture was developing in between the panels. And so I decided the best thing to do was to redo the whole build. Now, during the initial build, I did have a lot of issues with the glazing compound. Uh, the major things I didn't like about this is, firstly, it, it was quite expensive. So here's the costing of my build. And you'll notice there, this was the, of the initial build, you'll notice there that the glazing compound was about 70 something dollars. Also, uh, it was quite um, difficult to work with, took quite a bit of time to work with it. It took a long time to dry before you could paint it. And so I decided <coughs> that I thought what I could use, and I thought, what about this window seal? You get it at most hardware stores. I bought this from AliExpress. I'll put the link in the description. But what it is, it's weatherproof. Uh, waterproof you have to buy the waterproof one so that will be airproof as well and it's just got a little thing you peel off and you can stick it directly on the material so so what I did for my build is I pulled off the glaze old glazing, glazing compound I pulled out the sheets of acrylic and then I worked on putting in this. Now an issue that I had was initially I had left about an 8 mole lip at the top to be able to work with the glazing compound but this time it needed to be up higher by about 8 mole. And so last time I used this, it's electrical uh, mini trunking or capping, I used the top of it which is 16 mole as the spacer between the two, two acrylic sheets as that is the optimum gap for for double glazing but I in this build I use the base of this which without the top is about 8 mil and I glued it onto the platform where the original seat uh, sh sheet of acrylic sat and then once I had glued it all the way around I went ahead and I attached the weather seal and this will be where the acrylic sheet will sit and once I had attached the weather seal, and just by the way, with the weather seal, what I found best is where you get a junction, all you do is you just butt them up like this, and when the pressure is applied, they seal quite well. So I put that on, and I turned it round, and I just put a line of silicon all the way around to prevent any air getting in. Once I had done that, the next mission was to put in the silica gel. I'll put a link to the silica gel where I bought it from. It gives tells you what size to use. Um, so I made a hole there and I put the silica gel in. As you can see, I'm keeping the silica gel in a sealed container so that no air gets in and it helps to, um, so I can keep it for a long time. So when I bought it, this came in a plastic bag, so I bought this box to keep it in. Alrighty, so once I had done the silica, uh, made the hole for the silica gel, um, initially I thought I might be able to use the original aluminium angle, so I tried flattening it, but that didn't work out too well. So I went ahead and I bought some aluminium flat bar, 
it was about 40 mil uh, wide and 3 mil thick about 2 meters long and I used two lengths of that and I I cut the lengths and as you can see I actually glued them together that would allow me to attach the weather seal and what I did is I attached um, two uh, weather seal on the inside to sit on the glass and on the outside to sit on the metal and then I went to, to the local wholesale and I bought these metal um, screws with a seal with a seal and I used these to attach the aluminium angle on Alrighty, here it is all going together they're attaching the bottom sheet I put in some foam just to hold it so it doesn't move and then I put in the 16 mil spaces Once I had done the 16 more spaces, I put the top sheet on. And at this point, I put in the silica gel in the little hole that I'd made previously. And then I, once again, I put in some firm spaces so it doesn't move. I did a bit of a clean. And then find the top sheet. And I went ahead and screwed that on. The beauty of this is if ever I want to change the panel, um, I can just unscrew the panels and I noticed that um, it wasn't sitting flat so I went ahead and I put in a few uh, additional screws just to hold it nice and flat. So once the aluminium angle was attached it was pretty much done but I did notice there was a little gap as I've indicated there in that little video and so what I did I just sealed that as well with silicon and there's a picture of my completed uh, window outside and that there is the internal bit so I'm very happy of this window I'm very happy that uh, this here s seems to work really well what I would like to do in a future video is actually get a commercially built a double glazed um, window and compare the performance of my homemade one see how they uh, compare so on the progress I've made so far once I finished building my or fixing the window I went ahead and I actually built a scaffold so there I am working on the scaffold and and this would be very useful for my for putting the house together I I built it so that when it's sort of lying down it can be used for the the second level and when you stand it up you can use it for I can use it to put on the top level sheets and once I did that I started putting up some of the walls so th these are the walls I've put up so far uh, I, I'm, I'm hoping that the rain will stop soon and I can get the rest of it up but that's what I've done so far and if we get a few fine days I might be able to get it all up before the end of the month but um, if the rain persists it might have to be early next month but it's very close to getting up so that's very exciting and once it is up then I can actually work inside and I won't have to worry about the weather so that's my progress uh, if you haven't already please subscribe if you enjoyed this video please share uh, if you have any questions please comment and please like as well so thank you for watching hope uh, life is good to you till next time bye for now